When you hear danger zone, does that make you want to jump in your jet, grab goose, and go hunt down some that bogeys does. or whatever? It makes me want to jump on my motorcycle. It's really ripped. Do you and Kenny Loggins know each other? We actually we kept missing each other. Tonight is the first time that we met each other. And That's unbelievable. Oh, no. It is. I, I love his music. He's been a part of my life and mine, of, you know, and his. It's, it was just amazing. Do you remember great. when you heard that song oh, yeah. as part of the oh. soundtrack? I heard it uh, before it was in the film. Right, right when he did it, I heard it. I heard both. They're incredible. Yeah, it's I mean, unbelievable. It's, it's a song that immediately makes you think of that movie, I know. and it puts you right. Yeah, in the... he'd done Caddyshack before that, and Footloose, and obviously, you know, his whole career. So we we're very excited when he said he would be part. Top of Gun it, is you know? thirty years old. I know. You know. Have you Amazing. watched it? When is the last time you saw? Amazing. Amazing. Have you Amazing. seen it recently? Happen upon it on Netflix or something? I watch like it every day. You... <laughs> <laughs> You know, Jerry Bruckheimer... Every morning, I'm like... The producer of Top Gun was yeah. here a, a few months ago, and he was telling a story of how he uh, persuaded you to do the movie by sending you to fly with the Blue Angels. Blue Angels. And he said that you didn't want to do the movie, and then you got there, and you flew with them, and then it, you were all in. Is that this true? Is a, this is... Okay, this is really funny. Now, Jerry, I, I've never told you this story. Okay, and the truth is, is that... After the first meeting, I met with Tony and, and Jerry at Paramount Pictures, and I got in the car, and I was flying to New York, and I told my agent, I said, I'm going to make this movie. I said, but don't tell Jerry that I want to make this movie. I said, because I wanted to fly with the Blue Angels. I wanted to, you know, you got to work these things, you know? I was a young, young businessman also. And I said, I want to fly in the F-14. I've got to have at least three flights in the F-14. I want all the training. Uh, and he's such a brilliant... Uh, producer, he was, I was able to be in every single meeting while there, while we were working and developing the script, so I could I could learn from uh, to learn to learn to produce. Yeah, to learn more about movies because he's he's you know obviously one of the greatest uh, producers of our time. And yet you bamboozled him, really, is yeah, the I truth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I love these tell that story. Sorry, Jerry, I forgot you and I never really had. That he also said you threw up in the plane. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Deal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> No, when we went to go with the... Yeah, I did. I, I vomited with the Blue Angels. Yeah. And, and I also, when I was flying, uh, I had three flights in one day in the F-14. And my first pilot in the morning... We went through all the training for the ejector seat training. I've always wanted to fly airplanes my whole life. I traveled around. I had two pictures. I had a picture of P-51 and a Spitfire. And anyway, so we did all the training. And now came the day that we've got to fly. And um, we set up the cameras. And it wasn't like today. It was very, really challenging and quite brilliant of Tony Scott, how he figured out how to do it. But the guy who flew me in the first flight, you know, his name was Bozo. Really? <laughs> yeah, the pilot's name was Bozo. Oh, great. <laughs> so I'm strapping in, we're getting in there, and you just see the helmet go on, it says Bozo. I'm like, Bozo, okay. <laughs> all right. So as we're going down, we're, you know, we're, he's going through all the check sheet, and we're, we're going through it, and there's all these lights on and emergency lights and everything, and I'm, we're about to take off. I, was, I remember saying, you know, Bozo, what? These lights, there's a lot of red lights. You go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He starts turning them off. I'm like, okay. And he goes, they don't call me Bozo for nothing. And I said, all right. <laughs> so we take off. We do, we have very specific maneuvers we're supposed to do, very low over the deck. And we tried to get through these as fast as possible so then we could go up and, and play for, you know, a good, you know, whatever fuel we had left. But I remember first flight in the morning, I, we were going really hard. We were, we were moving around and... We, like, did nine and a half Gs and, and very hard in my body. And I had a bag right here, you know, the vomit bag right here. So in between takes, you know, I just quickly leaned down and to quickly, you know, empty my guts into this bag. <laughs> and there was an A4 over here in the F-14. And the second I did that, he pulls up. He pulls up. And, I, and so I'm like this, and I don't know, I can't do it now, but my head was literally from the pressure, was my head was on the ground. <laughs> It was my helmet. I was pressed on the floor, holding my vomit like this. <laughs> and I'm going, I'm trying to like the talk to press the talk button was on the foot. And I kept going, I was going, bozo, 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 like this. Bozo, bozo. You know, so I was like choking. And it just kept pulling up and up and up. And I finally, he released and we were going, you know, straight ahead. And I, I was like, I said, bozo, what? What's the matter with you, man? Did you see? You pulled up, and my head was hitting the floor. And you pulled the hardest. He goes, well, I told you. They don't call me Bozo for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
<laughs> it was a pr your point of pride. You hold up the bag. That bag should be in the Smithsonian you know, exactly. right now. Exactly. We held it up, but I had two more flights uh, after that in the day. We got incredible footage and you know flew twice the speed of sound. It was, it was really oh, incredible. Wow, that sounds like my nightmare experience. day. It really does. <laughs> 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 the worst thing that could ever happen to me. But that's where we differ. Like, that's one that's, of the many ways where yeah, we so differ. Well, you know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, wow, that's something. Are you flying helicopters now as, a, as yeah, I well? I fly, I'm a commercial instrument rated helicopters and airplanes and So you aerobatics. could take me on a tour of the Grand Canyon or something like I, that? I could do that. You could do that? If you would, I would do it. I could also do it inverted if you want. And you know what? Let, I'm going to skip the tour of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be a sequel to Top Gun, as Jerry indicated there <laughs> Kenny, and Will Kenny, Kenny and I were talking. We were talking about it tonight. You know, it's it's just got to be right. That's all. I mean, we just got to figure it out. Jimmy Kimmel Live weeknights at 11:35, 10:35 Central on ABC.